I love that intro music. It's Super Demon Attack for the TI-994A. And what makes it so super? Cause it's on the TI, of course. If you've played Demon Attack on the Atari 2600, this version looks quite a bit different. If you've played it on the Intellivision, then this one looks more familiar. Uh, you've got your demon shooting base on the bottom, moving across the surface of the moon, a planet that I assume is the Earth on the side, and you've got various enemies to shoot at, like Medusa heads, uh, two-headed dragons, and zombified Victorian-era wigs. I like all the designs and the graphics in general are really nice, although the planet sometimes obscures similarly colored demons when they fly over. I like the sounds too, despite being just standard square wave video game sounds, they still have a lot of variety, and each demon has its own background music that you can sometimes actually hear in between shots. I do have two issues with the gameplay. One is the controls. Put simply, uh, firing your cannon interrupts your left-right movement in some way. Using a joystick, if your ship is standing still and you start firing, you have to let go of the fire button before you can move. If you're already moving, you can fire, but in order to move in the opposite direction, you have to let go of the button. Playing with the keyboard has similar issues. When you press fire, your cannon stops moving. So basically, you want to press the fire button as quickly as possible, and rarely, if ever, just keep it pressed down. But the control issues can at least be worked around. A bigger flaw is the hit detection. Uh, sometimes your missile will hit a demon right in the middle, but the hit doesn't register. That's a shame. A big old darn shame. And this game gets pretty difficult, so the last thing you need is shameful hit detection. Nonetheless, once you make it past the waves of demons, you blast off into space and encounter this huge demon base, which you don't have to fight. Instead, you have to fend off flying demons that come out from the ship, and then destroy Galactic Dracula and the Space Eyeball. Just one hit will take care of them, and then it's back to the moon to fight more super space demons. Despite my problems with Super Demon Attack, guess what? I still like it. It's fast paced with nice graphics and sound. And let's look again at this demonic superstructure. This thing is awesome. It's got a huge demon sitting there, a giant cobra on each side, fire. This thing is metal. Has anyone told Motorhead about this? Someone should call up Lemmy. I bet he'd make it their next album cover. So who cares if every hit doesn't register? You've got a giant space demon, am I right? Huh? Yeah, I'm right. Demons rule.